Welcome back. In this video, we will set up a simple HTML form that we can use in the first section of this series. It's an imaginary form that we need to submit to YouTube. So let's call it the YouTube form. The form has three fields, username, email, and a YouTube channel name. At the bottom, there is a submit button to submit the form. Let's switch to VS Code and set up this YouTube form. To get us started, I have already created a React project. Now I have created the project using Read, but please feel free to use Create React App if you're more comfortable with that. If you're using Read, the command is npm create read at latest rhf hyphen demo. The last part is the project name. When you run the command, it will prompt you with two options. For framework, select React, and for variant, choose TypeScript. That should generate a new project folder. Navigate into the project folder with the command cd rhf demo and run npm install to install the dependencies. To run the application in development mode, run the command npm run dev. You should see the React app up and running on localhost port 5173. On the other hand, if you prefer create React app, here's what you have to do. Start with the command npx create React app rhf demo dash dash template TypeScript. rhf demo is the project name, and we also specify the template for TypeScript support. Once the command completes, navigate into the project folder with the command cd rhf demo. And to run the application in development mode, run the command npm start. You should see the React app up and running on localhost port 3000. How the project is set up does not affect the concepts we will be learning, but it will be easier for you to follow along if you're using Read. All right, now that our project is set up, let's create our YouTube form component. We begin by creating a new folder called components within the source folder. This folder is where we will be adding all our components. At the moment, we need one component for the YouTube form we just talked about. So new file, youtubeform.js. Within the file, use the snippet rafc to create a function component. Please install the VS Code ES7 Plus React Redux React Native JS Snippets extension if you want to do the same. Now let's add the HTML or the JSX to be more precise for our YouTube form. Since we have already looked at the UI in the slide and HTML is not something new, I'm going to copy paste the code and then go over it. So replace the entire div tag. As you can see, we have an HTML form indicated by this form tag. The form contains three fields, each with a label and a corresponding input. The first field is for the user to enter the username. So the label is username. And we set the HTML4 attribute to username as well. This is nothing but the value of the ID attribute on the input element. Apart from ID, we also specify the name attribute. I've decided to keep the ID and the name attribute same, which is why both of them are assigned the string username. This is our first field. Similarly, we have our second field to collect the user's email address, the label being email, HTML4 being email, ID email, and name is also equal to email. We've also set input type is equal to email. The third field is for the YouTube channel name. The label is channel, HTML4 is channel, ID and name attributes also set to channel. After the three form fields, we have a simple submit button to submit the form data. This pretty much is all the HTML we need for our form. Normally, I wouldn't focus on CSS. However, since we will be working with this form for a good number of videos, Let's add some simple styling. In index.css, on the body element, 
I'm going to remove the place items center style. And in app.css, I will clear out all the styles except the root and paste in new styles for the form label and input elements. You can copy this CSS from the GitHub repository. Now that the HTML and CSS are done, let's see how our form looks in the browser. Include the component in app.tsx. And we have an error, and that is because our YouTube form should be dot tsx dot slash components slash YouTube form. In the terminal, run the command npm run dev if you haven't already, and head to the browser. You should see the form with three fields username, email, and channel. We also have our submit button. The UT form component is rendering as expected. We are now ready to add React hook form into the project. Let's do that in the next video.